Hello, my name is Dr. Kathy Baum. I am a veterinarian at the Drake Center for Veterinary Care, and I am here to talk to you about a new type of appointment that we are offering at the Drake Center. I know I've talked, uh, made a couple videos about these already. The reason I'm doing another one is because I've done several of these now, and I'm so grateful to the people that came in and allowed me to help them with their pet. Um, I'd like to go through again sort of what these visits are, what we're trying to accomplish, and I have learned from these first few to really engage what it is you guys want to learn about with your pet because we don't have time for all the things that I want to teach you, even in an hour appointment. So what is a health span wellness visit? Basically, it is... Um, it is a, a, an appointment time that's an hour in length, and this is set up to help you prevent chronic disease in your pet or help you deal with waste slow progression of chronic disease if your pet already has one based on what we currently know. Now, I can tell you that what we currently know changes all the time. So in these appointments, just like in your appointment with your regular veterinarian, the information that we give you now, we're in a rapidly growing field. Uh, it's a beautiful, wonderful time to be a veterinarian because there's so much really good longevity research being done right now. But the bottom line is this information will evolve over time. So what we say now may not be the same thing that we say in a year or two years or five years as current knowledge comes out. And that's why I, I really wanted to create these visits because I want to stay on the edge of what we know to help empower you to take better care of your pet. Not that you're taking bad care of your pet. I don't mean to imply that at all. But there are some things I think that we can tweak with what we do at home with our pets and what our recommendations are that quite frankly, there is so much to cover in a 30 minute office visit that we oftentimes just don't have the time to take a deep dive in. So that's what this appointment is structured around. So basically there are five major um, sections, I guess would be the best thing to say, that, uh, that we would like to help teach you about. One is diet, nutrition. Two is appropriate body condition and how to accomplish that. Three are supplements. What supplements would we recommend based on your dog's uh, body condition, based on their age, based on what health concerns they may be going through? Um, then there's targeted exercises. So for dogs to keep them strong, vital, really support the joints, the major muscle groups that support the joints so that they can have a, a more comfortable aging. We call that health span. So again, is exercise gonna affect the lifespan? Well, it probably will, but again, certainly it will help make them more comfortable as they age if we continue to support the major joints that they need to function with. And then lastly, massage. Now, I would have to say that um, the people that have come in thus far for health span visits, massage has probably been the lowest on their list of priorities, but I will help you understand really how important massage is for blood flow, for lymphatic drainage. Um, movement uh, and massage is actually can be incredibly beneficial no matter what age your pet is. So basically the way they work is you will get a pre-visit survey. That survey will ask you a few questions and it will also ask you to prioritize which one of those five things you would like to learn about. Basically you're gonna prioritize them one through five. So when we then go on to develop the appointment, your, what you would like to learn will come first. So in case we run out of time, don't, don't worry we're gonna prioritize what your concerns are. And then there's also space on that pre-visit survey to write in anything else you may be worried about. So say you're worried about preventing arthritis or you're worried about preventing cancer. I will tell you what we know about those things, what the evidence tells us about those things. Um, there may or may not be ways we can intervene, but I will let you know what I know. 
and truly these appointments will require you to do work at home after the appointment. These are empowering you to understand what aging looks like in your pet. And quite honestly, I think the earlier we start on this course with dogs and cats, the better. Um, I prefer not to see puppies or kittens because when they're in a growth phase, it really is requiring a certain nutritional component. I don't want to mess around with that. Um, during a lot of these visits, we may be altering diet or at least adding constituents to the diet. So I prefer them to be out of the rapid growth phase of their development. So say dogs probably would be appropriate at um, eight months and older. Even if they're still on puppy food, we can talk about some things. But bottom line is I see tremendous value for these types of deep dives for everyone. And I am going to go through each one of the five things in a separate video uh, to just go into a little more detail about what I'm talking about. I think these visits can be hard for people to understand what the heck we're gonna do. So I am going to take each one of those five things and go into a little bit more detail about it. Thank you.